Hi, we are Pink and Queen. Interest rates have been a hot topic among home purchasers these days, and we are here to shed some light on what's happening. This is part one of our two part series on interest rates. Homeowners in Singapore will have to brace themselves for higher home mortgage repayments as local banks continue to increase interest rates for their home loan offerings. The banks are taking their cues from the United States Federal Reserve, which has increased the rates three times this year to combat surging inflation. With inflation in the US hitting a 40-year high, the Fed earlier this month announced a 0.75 percentage point rate rise in its benchmark federal funds rate to a range between 1.5 and 1.75 percent. Central banks in other parts of the world has also embarked on policy tightening to quell inflation including the Monetary Authority of Singapore, which has adjusted its monetary policy three times since last October. Instead of using interest rates as its main policy tool, Singapore defers and uses exchange rates. Coupled with an open capital market, Singapore's interest rates are hence largely determined by global interest rates, especially that in the US, which is the world's biggest economy. Singapore uses two types of benchmark rates. One of them is the Singapore Overnight Rate Average, SORA, computed from the volume-weighted average rate of borrowing transactions in the unsecured overnight interbank Sing Dollar Cash market. The other is the Singapore Interbank Offered Rate, CYBOR, which is highly correlated with the US interest rate. Both rates have gone up over the past few months, but with SORA being a backward-looking rate, its movements tend to experience a lag versus cyber. What does this mean to you as a consumer? Now, it would make more sense to go for a SORA rate in today's market due to its lagged effect. Yes, interest rates may be increasing, but if you're going to sit on the fence, your money and savings will still be eroded by the increasing inflation. The better thing to do is to buy a property within your means and lock in the interest rates in this current market, where the rates are not at its highest. Do ensure that you set aside a buffer for the increment in interest rates. Ideally, one should set aside some savings in cash or liquid assets that can be used to pay for their monthly instalments for the next two years. This would allow sufficient time to restructure the loan or even sell the property should you run into any financial issues. We feel that the increasing interest rates is not a bad thing. In fact, it helps to balance out the entire market by bringing inflation down. In our next video, we will go further in depth on this topic. Thank you for watching.